split decision MMA UK down here preparing for the ICE FC2 weigh-ins. We're going to be bringing you all the coverage ahead of the event tomorrow night. They've merged with Manchester Fighting Championships to bring you an even better card. It's um, headlined by the professionals, um, Jack McCann and Billy Glossop. We've got some of the most exciting amateur fighters in the UK. Um, the headline of that card is um, Liam Davis versus Jeff Agendo for the vacant belt. It's going to be an awesome night. You, if you're not there tomorrow, you're definitely missing out. But for today, we're focusing on the weigh-in, see if we can get a bit of reaction and um, bring you all the highlights. And uh, let's go and have a look and see what happens. This match will be in the 66 kilo division, and he's featuring James Reese from Team Mushin. So James, if you'd like to make your way up to the scales, my friend. James Reese makes weight. And his opponent from Lionsport MMA, Phil Evans. Get the dorm and I do you want to get the dorm and all you want to <laughs> Phil Evans also makes weight. Well done, fellas. Do you want to have a bit of a square for us? And the next matchup is in the 70 kilos division featuring my homes from Chester Submission Wrestling and Robbie Nicholson from 12 Gauge MMA. Uh, can we have my homes up to the scales, please? My homes makes way. And now we have Robbie Nicholson from 12 Gauge MMA. <laughs> Robbie Nicholson also makes weight. That's like just to do a stare down for us, guys. Well done, fellas. Nice one. Good luck, Debo. And next up in the 93 kilograms division. In fact, the heavyweight division. Luke Taylor from Daywalkers. Is he a man or an animal? Luke Taylor, 99 kilograms. Luke Taylor's Danny Payne away on the day with reinforced scales. Next up in the 77 kilograms division, we'll have Mick Holgate from Chester and Aaron Sykes from Daywalkers MMA. So Mick Holgate, if you'd like to make your way to the scales. Mick Holgate makes weight. And onto the scales, Aaron Sykes, stay walkers. Aaron Sykes also makes weight. Oh, 
guys. Good luck to you, Bill. His opponent isn't waiting in today, but we'll get him on the scales and ready. It's Paul Jackson. Paul Jackson, the lightweight division, makes weight. Hold on, mate. And next up on the scales, also from HFFS in the 75 kilogram division, Bobby Pallet. Bobby's opponent also weighing in tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 75 kilogram catch weight. Bobby Pallet is 72 kilograms. Well done, mate. Next up in the 70 kilogram division, we got Chris Wright from Waterloo Street Gym and Gaz Sykes from Daywalkers. This match ta also takes place in the 75 kilogram catchweight division. Chris Wright. All right, just buzz mate. Yep. Jump off, mate. Yeah, you good. And Gaz Sykes. A little bit square down, boys. Hey, Tom. Well done, fellas. His opponent will be weighing in tomorrow, but on the scales, Ross Robinson from Black Ledge MMA. Hey, Tom. Well done, Ross. 83 kilos. Uh, Wayne Hughes from HFFS in the featherweight division. Escapes and that are on the way. What's going on with these? Wayne Hughes makes weight. Well done, pal. <laughs> Moving on to our feature professional bouts. In a catch weight of 82 kilograms. From SPG Mainline. Cage fighting Dave Johnson. <laughs> Just a bum bag, come on, mate. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> just a bum bag. <laughs> Come on, mate. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want. David. Yeah. Dave Johnson makes weight. Woo! Yeah. David. And also in our feature professional bout in the 62 kilogram division from Predators Manchester, Mike Berry. Don't take any shit off the guy who's never had abs. <laughs> Mike Berry makes way. Next up in the 70 kilo division, Reese Ackers makes way. 70.4 kilos. Hold on, pal. Division 77 kilograms. Leon Clark, a full contact performance center, versus Dean Gaskell, the Black Legend MMA. First on the scales, Leon Clark.
Leon Clark makes weight. And for Black Legend MMA, Dean Gaskell. Dean Gaskell makes weight. It's getting for a stare down for Lou Leon. Good luck to you both. And for our amateur title fight, with no allowance in the featherweight division, Jeff Agendo from Gym 21 against Liam Davies from Black Ledge MMA. Jump onto the scales, Jeff. Oh. Stop. Yeah, all right, Jeff, well done, mate. Next onto the scales, Liam Davis. We'll have a chat with you in a second, mate. All right, well, all right, we'll sort out. <laughs> Liam Davis makes weight. Yeah. Professional fight in the lightweight division. Our main event, Jamagam from Wolf Slayer, Daywalkers MMA. Martin. Stand still, mate. Sorry. Jamagam makes weight. Next up in the featherweight division, we have Adil Hussain from Full Contact Performance Center against Chris Peroni from HFFS. First on the scales, Adil Hussain. Hey, Tom. I didn't follow right. Adil Hussain makes weight. Just, just put it to one side for a minute. Next on the scales, Chris Peroni. Chris Peroni makes weight. Let's have a good start. Well done, fellas. Good luck to you both. Thank you. <coughs> In a 75 kilogram catchweight division, we have Alan Hunt from Elite Thai Boxing Southport against Aaron Johnson from Black Ledge MMA. First on the scales, Alan Hunt. Tom, you want to speak to Jeff? You want to speak to Jeff? Alan Hunt makes weight. Jordan Pounce, stop this side, please. Next on the scales, Aaron Johnson. Aaron Johnson also makes weight. Well done, boys. Good luck to you both. That is James Min Stanley. One sec, mate. Just step off. Step off a sec. Wait for it to go zero. There you go, mate. There's still a bit to go there, mate, yeah? Sixty-six points. Next up in the featherweight division, from Golden's MMA, Jordan Dolan. Jordan makes weight. Well done, pal. Uh, we're here with um, Dave Johnson, uh, pro fight tomorrow night. Thanks for your time, Dave. See that? Yeah. That's how fast I'm going to be tomorrow. <laughs> That's a cracking duck. It's all great reaction. They're all coming in for it. They're all coming in. Yeah, I'm that fast. Um, so, what's your thoughts, Eddie, about tomorrow night? Well, I've got a cold, so I'm planning to give him one. 
And um, it was uh, like a late announce bout this week. Um, they said you were fighting. So have you had a chance to look at your opponent, or is it just take it as it comes tomorrow? Take it as it comes. I like surprises. So we'll see. And um, how much are you looking forward to getting back in there and uh, showing these guys like Alex, everyone's chucking stuff? Very much. <laughs> Hey, we've got to do. We've got to deal with many conditions here, aren't we? And um, it's you good know, prep for the fight, though. Anything can happen. Especially signs getting thrown in yeah. there when you're in there. I know. And um, how was 2013 for you? Well, too far. I didn't fight in 2013. I ain't fought since March 2011. So this is uh, first fight in a long time. So. And any nerves ahead of the fight, or you're just looking forward to getting back in there? Well, no nerves yet, but tomorrow it's not more about who I'm fighting. The main opponent will probably be the nerves and how to deal with uh, the emotions of the fight. How much have you learned in training in that time, you know, in the few years you've been away, you know, has that helped you pick up more, you know, without having to fight, you've been able to just to focus on the training? Yeah, I never stopped, so I was always improving, so hopefully it shows tomorrow. And then any predictions ahead of the fight? I give him a cold by the end of it. Let's get. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah. It's good, one good way to submit him anyway. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully uh, it soaks into him in the first round and wears him down. Like it gets all in his system and uh, messes him up, gives him like uh, the sweats and stuff, slows him down. And it sounds good and um, all the best tomorrow night. And um, thanks, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Main event tomorrow night, Jack. Um, what's your thoughts ahead of the fight? No, I'm just excited to fight again. I haven't fought since October, so I'm just happy to be back in. And um, was that um, the last time we saw you was um, the second Manchester Fighting Championships? Yeah. Um, you know, looking back on that and all of last year, how much did you learn from it and what you're going to use from last year and um, this year? Um, I don't know, I just, I've, just been, I've just been being busy. Just being busy. I, got, I got injured after that last fight and we stayed off till about, yeah. till about, um, till about, till about um, the start of the year and then just got straight back in. So but I've, been, I've been busy and I've just been, I pick up every day. So. No, I've just been working on my strengths and stuff like that. And um, you know, what are your aims um, for this year? Obviously start the year off with a win against Billy tomorrow and um, what are you hoping to do for the rest of the year? Maybe a bit shiny belt like that that's in the background? But this idiot told me in the back. Yeah, um, just, um, just, um, just fight as many times as I can and just, and just keep busy. That's it, and just keep, and keep winning. There's not more I can ask for, just not more I can wish for. Just, just, just stay in, get, get in as much as I can. And um, Lastly, any predictions ahead of tomorrow night, or are you not one to make predictions? No, I'm not, I'm not like that. I just, I just, the way I think now, so I don't really get nervous. I've done, I've done a hard camp, I've done everything I can do. So, um, you know, I've, I've trained as much as I can now. I've just got to, whatever happens tomorrow is going to happen. So, I've just got to deal with that. But I'm prepared as, as I, I, I'm as ready as I'm going to be. And, um, it's always great to watch your fight. Can't wait for that one tomorrow. It'll be a great match for you. And, um, all the best. Good luck. Cheers. I've managed to get myself um, the belt, snuck it away from the weigh-ins. This is up for grabs tomorrow night in the amateur um, for the title between Liam Davis and Jeff Agendo. It's going to be a great night, limited amount of tickets. Um, get yourself down early and um, hopefully we'll see you there. And we're going to be bringing you all the post-fight action and full review available on Sunday. Simon Cafferty, ISFC, Manchester.